All right, well, this is fun. The air conditioner is off, so the show simply must begin. Josh, do you have any questions before we start? I don't. Good! Please dance! What you're hearing on that dial is the smooth sound of Quarators back again, America's favorite Quora based podcast with your hosts, Alex and Jeremy. I'm Alex. And I'm Jeremy. That's Jeremy right there. And this is season four of Jeremy's House. Yeah, that's why I threw out your coffee because it's at my house <laughs> that I make the rules. Jeremy makes the rules. And if you are late, he <laughs> will throw your coffee in the trash. By accident. <laughs> when there's kind of a bunch in there, but we're not <laughs> stuck on that today. There's so much more to explore with our exciting guest all the way from, uh, you may know him as a writer for the Deezus and Miro program, uh, Josh Gondelman. Josh? Hello. Thank you for having me. It's a thrill to have you Gosh, here. What an incredible sequence of events to watch the coffee thing unfold before the recording. <laughs> I felt so bad. <laughs> it's important it to get a mystery out. The thing about Jeremy is he, is he quietly rules with an iron fist. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they call him Quiet Iron. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's right. right. That's why it's on his jersey. <laughs> As a host, I always feel like it's better to be feared than loved. <laughs> That's you're an, right. <laughs> you're an enlightened tyrant like Catherine the Great. Yeah. That's now, right. Josh, do you know about Quora? Yeah. That's going to save us so much time. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I'm mostly here to be efficient. <laughs> <laughs> we just saved 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, so we are going to get right into uh, reading Quora's and exploring them, and in so exploring our very minds. But before we get into that, we do have a weekly recurring segment we've been using as a cynical ploy to attract new listeners, okay. and that is, of course, our advice segment. And this week we are doing tips for... Men. Tips for men! I found it. We're labeling the soundboard after this. Josh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to tell men out there? Oh, gosh. This is a good... Surprise! I know. We um, gotcha. You can got. You have this, to have advice for men on this show. This is we tough. don't tell you. Um. Oh. I feel like this is one. This is a big one. Wash your sheets and towels. Yeah. And you gotta wash them. You gotta do it. And I feel like it is not to be like a gender essentialist, but I do think men wash their sheets and towels less frequently than probably women true. and probably non binary people. So. <laughs> Which is another one of our tip segments. Yeah. What's that? Tips for non binary yeah. people? It's true. I'll play the song for you. Nope, that's, that's Godzilla. Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the label's coming so soon. Tips for them. So if you're, if you're non-binary, you're doing fine already with the towels. Don't yeah. worry about that Yeah, one. you seem okay uh, about sheets in regards to men who really <laughs> got to transform that stinky burrito. Mm -hmm. Now, I washed my sheets yesterday, so I'm wow. actually the one good one. <laughs> So you're saying not all men don't yeah, wash their hashtag sheets. Hashtag not all men. Hashtag not all men. If they live with women, women will make them wash their sheets. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Do you hear like a vacuum yeah, cleaner? What the fuck is that? My oh yeah, yeah. I tried to make it. Someone's the thing about Jeremy's the sidewalk. <laughs> this is our second episode at Jeremy's house where Jeremy makes the rules. Oh, <laughs> Jeremy's house, Jeremy's <laughs> rules. We've been going back and forth on whether it's okay to leave the AC on, and yeah, it's uh, instead, hot. it's kind of become a sweat challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like it'll be kind of a, it'll have a, a hallucinogenic quality by the I end of right. the episode. Yeah, we're yeah. currently on minute four, so let's check back <laughs> on that. <laughs> Because uh, I good. show it, folks. I tried to leave the window open, and then somebody started doing intense lawn care outside, it's, I think. The, the lawn care sounds in this neighborhood are so intense for a neighborhood with zero lawns. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you hear like a mower and like a weed yeah. whacker. You're like, what are you doing? Are you dismembering a body? <laughs> like, <laughs> what are be. these power tools about? By There's the way, this of, is your first clue to finding Jeremy's house. Yes. Pay attention. Figure it out. Every episode will have one hit. You That's can right. find him, and you can come over. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you, you win. You can be the guest on the next episode if you find Jeremy's house. <laughs> the prize is we get to just hang out. Yeah. <laughs> We know we're always seeing Mike Birbiglia around. Put he's, that in he's your somewhere. Journal. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. He lives around here. 
Oh, man. Uh, but yes, again, reminder, this is a visual podcast. So if you've been listening every week, you can see me sweat on YouTube.com slash at Quarradors. That's true. Um, good. Advice. <laughs> Check. What's we got next? It. Uh, Announce the theme. Uh, the theme this week is Crossing Boundary. Oh! Oh, baby! <laughs> okay. Thanks, Wario. <laughs> that was Wario that said, oh, baby? Yeah, we had him on. <laughs> <laughs> He was very rude to us. He's a close friend of mine. He kept slamming us with his shoulder. Eat garlic. Eat garlic. <laughs> Look, I, I kind of fell off with this stuff a few years ago, but I've heard that, that his new special is really good. Yeah. When he was putting down his shoulder and just going through brick walls all the time, that really resonated with me. Yeah. But it, I, honestly, it didn't age well. I think no. like maybe you shouldn't just be barreling through brick walls all the time. That's a home. Yeah. yeah, somebody lives there. That's a boundary for a reason, Wario. That's right, Wario. And then Wario immediately just becomes like, oh, I'm into eating weird stuff and playing <laughs> mini games on the Nintendo DS. <laughs> what He's are you doing those videos. Doing? <laughs> Wario eats one million hot Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're just doing anything for keep that follower count up. <laughs> I give this five. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. You know, this guy used to try to kill Mario. <laughs> Still think he's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's people don't remember. No. Well, Wario used to try to kill Mario. They just know he's abstractly evil, but he was tangibly very evil. <laughs> Mario wasn't not trying to kill him. No. I guess it, if we were to look at both sides of the story, you but, gotta see both sides. <laughs> and Mario, as a uh, um, as a I don't know video game figure, is like he throws fireballs. He's like pretty imposing. I could see if you right. didn't know his yeah. whole thing, do maybe th being afraid of him. Do you think part of what made what why we love Mario and fear Wario is that Wario has war in his name, which is bad sure and then mario has ma right at the beginning of his name which is and mother. italian people famously love their mothers so it reminds you of home yeah yes i think it that is. is what it is i think so too that's the only reason the only reason <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing to add because you've nailed it thank you <laughs> um now this is jeremy's house where jeremy makes the rules but um <laughs> It's time to go back to our question we asked at the end of last week. We begin and end every week by asking a question to Quora to engage the community. Uh, what was our question last week, Jeremy? So we had Claire O'Kane on, and Claire asked, what does Snorlax feel like when you swallow him? And okay. I, I don't quite know what that means. And we're going to go ahead and put that one fully on Claire. <laughs> so no one here can be judged <laughs> for the Snorlax question. So I know what Snorlax is. Yeah. Snorlax is a Pokemon. He's a big guy. You play a big. flute and he moves. You what? You play, play a flute and he moves. I think that's true of a lot of people in things. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you got the heat. Yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah. That's right. Right. If you're really giving it your all on the flute. <laughs> yeah. You know how to blow that Yeah, thing. come on. It does wake Get him up. But if you play a flute loud enough, most Pokemon will wake up. Most Pokemon? Cats? Sure. Dogs? Yeah. yeah. My dog would wake up if you played a flute near her. She would not be happy. <laughs> There's something about this episode already where we've gone so far into gamer lore. And I think that's just the effect of being at Jeremy's house. When that's right. We're Jeremy makes the rules. Um, when I when I really got deep on Wario, I didn't realize we were immediately pivoting to Snorlax. Yeah, so right. I apologize for that. Yeah, I couldn't have known. Yeah, I we have a know. sponsorship with Nintendo Switch. <laughs> 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 and that's why we're asking what it Snorlax feels like when you swallow him. Now, are we assuming this is non-sexual? I guess just to clear up I the question up top. I thought it was non-sexual, but... It Maybe when you read it out loud, how else are you gonna fit a Snorlax in you? You thought it was like swallow his load. <laughs> yeah, I th yeah. <laughs> Is that what it was? I mean, to be crass. How long are we into attending? So we're not we're, gonna be demonetized. For the YouTube load. algorithm no longer knows <laughs> what we're doing. So yeah, I'm talking about taking a hot pint of his cum right in the mouth. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's a lot of great drawings that we could. Look up <laughs> if we wanted to learn more about that actually that would tread on the podcast of uh or excuse me the premise of my podcast uh deviant art critic <laughs> where i review all the art on deviant art yeah every week there's just not a lot of premises left no. i know that's what that's what you have to do now take what you can get every week we're afraid Quor Quora will for some reason be shut down by the government and we'll have nothing to talk about <laughs> The CEO got sued one week. We were just yeah. like, we might just be done. Yeah. This could be it. <laughs> we got commissioned all that art. Um, I think, okay, I, I would like to hear some feedback okay, from the actual readership, please. 
from Ian Jackson, whose icon is the Punisher, and he says, what even is this question? Snorlax is a character in media, and it's not possible to know something that gross. It is possible to know something <laughs> that gross. So you nailed it. I disagree, Ian Jackson. <laughs> I don't think the grossness has anything to do with the unknowability. I agree with you. Those are two separate parts of this premise. This is a man who avoids knowing uncomfortable things. Um, well, maybe he doesn't realize because he studied banking at Erie Community College. And now he's a manager at PNC Bank. <laughs> this is all stuff publicly available. We are not crossing any boundaries yet. Yeah. Although it is the theme of the week. I bet this dude. <laughs> the bank. I, a dude who works at a bank and has the Punisher as his logo on Quora. <laughs> I've never, I can't imagine anyone taking more delight in denying loans to people. <laughs> Every single time someone like writes a note and slips it to him, he's like, please be a killer. Yeah. Please. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Just like a vigilante bank manager. <laughs> Let me tell you, you won't find that outside of Corey, Pennsylvania, 2004 to present. <laughs> that might be too small of a town. I'm looking up the population of Corey, Pennsylvania. Which is, again, leaving It's Quora. actually just one guy. <laughs> it's 6,000 oh, people. Yeah, you can find him. If you oh, go to no. the bank in this town, you can find him. Oh, um, leave, leave, leave this guy alone. We weep some of that. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> all right, I'll give you more of my address so that you instead want to find me. Listen for another clue. <laughs> <laughs> he really didn't say anything bad. I feel fine about it. No, okay. he's fine. He's a great man and, and a close he, friend. He asked a question on Monday. He said, a fly flew into my mouth and now I feel sick. What should I do? You got to wait that one out, Ian. <laughs> that happened to the best of us. What, what is a fly if not like a tiny Snorlax? Agreed. It goes, zzz, but I bet if it had like a bigger physical instrument, it would sound like snoring. Oh. Yeah, there it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. A perfect scientific recreation of a really big fly. A big enough animal eating Snorlax would be like you consuming a fly. Yep. To put it that way. And I've had a fly fly in my mouth while I was running at the park, and it was deeply unpleasant. So that's probably what it's like. It's no fun, for it's, sure. And it you feel bad for, like, hours. <laughs> you feel like you're like, is it still, like, flying yeah. in there? Yeah. But it's not. No way uh, is it even and located in your throat anymore. No but you're just like, I feel but so you violated. Can be like, the fly was there. You're like pointing <laughs> to your throat like, I know where it was. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't let that into your larynx. That's my tip for flies going in your mouth. Tips for me. Tips for me. You got me there. <laughs> I think this one holds across gender lines. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't let a fly go into your larynx. <laughs> if you're Ladies, a lady. Yeah. <laughs> if a fly wants to go into your larynx, make sure it buys you dinner first. <laughs> I don't want to speak for women already consuming flies. Mm -hmm. That's fair. That may be you're pushing gonna, boundaries. You're going to sit. And listen and reflect. <laughs> <laughs> it's time I learn. Uh, what are we going to start with this Let's week? Let's do um, our segment, Quartz, which is our sports segment. Now, we used to own um, <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> a uh, very popular song that YouTube found out somebody else wrote uh, for our sports segment. But uh, what sound do we do now? <laughs> um, do the tiger. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sports. <laughs> sure. Um, I feel bad because I feel like I, I think this question I saw someone post on Twitter and I took it, but I don't remember who it was, but it was um, the perfect crime. This was a this is on Quora. It's a Quora scre screen scrap, but it was uh, why don't hockey teams use sumo wrestlers or big fat guys as goalies? This may be crossing a boundary, Jeremy. And that you're involving men from other sports. Okay, I see. Oh, and see. You, the, the puck has to cross the boundary, the boundary the, into the net. That's right. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. I think so it's this, a good idea. To, to just use a real, like as large a person as yeah. you can find. Assume a wrestler yeah. and put him in front of the goal. Now, I hate to be a hockey expert, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, famously, you love to be a <laughs> hockey expert. <laughs> the thing about this puck is it is flying. So you really want to try to trap it with um, your mitts or some kind of uh, judo kick on your big, wide shin guards you got there instead of taking it directly to your body because it's going to hurt quite a bit. I th now, the one from the Mighty Ducks was quite large. The Mighty Ducks. The Mighty Ducks, the hockey the team? I've movie? never seen the movie. I've only seen the cartoon. 
Oh, huh. which was about literal ducks who were like astronauts. Let me just get in front of you there. As like superheroes. In the movie, it's a boy. <laughs> I, I know that. <laughs> and I, not a boy duck either. I know that was boy. your next question. I, human boy. <laughs> I grew up playing, uh, watching the duck TV show, and I was shocked to discover eventually that it's about humans. <laughs> it's, yeah. I mean, far worse from like a child's perspective. I'm going to find the theme song to the Mighty Ducks cartoon. I've also seen this cartoon. Josh, oh, have okay, you seen the Mighty Ducks mind. cartoon? I don't remember. It doesn't ring a bell. It was probably slightly after your time. I probably caught the tail end of it. I am 30. Jeremy's is the youngest it, person I know. <laughs> what is this an ad for? Jeremy, you're the 11, rules. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. Jeremy's house, Jeremy's rules. Candy for breakfast. <laughs> no one knows I live here. Don't tell my parents. Okay. <laughs> this is the Mighty Ducks theme. Is it going to be fun? I don't know. Can we legally play it? Ain't no All right, we're good on that. This Thank you. This doesn't sound that much different from like regular songs of the late '80s <laughs> and early '90s. Like if, if, about whack if you were like quack Bon Jovi wrote a song about ducks that play hockey, <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, I guess they were having some wild times back then. Who's if, to say? Did they get Foreigner to do this? They might be Giants. Did the Daily Show? Really? I think, I think so. You wouldn't make something like that up, would I you? Think <laughs> would I? Um, Bob Mould did the Daily Show. Uh, am I, I wrong about they this? They might be Giants. Have um, they did uh, Malcolm in the Middle? You're thinking of Bob did Mould. Did they not? Good I, try. I, I, think it, I think it was a Bob. I think they made the. I think the Daily Show song was Bob Mould, and then when uh, Trevor Noah took over, Timbaland uh, did a version uh, of it. All right, but I think they I might think be Giants in the Malcolm in the Middle theme song. I will let the YouTube commenter decide. I you make good, the rules. That's a good way to live. Jeremy's house, YouTube's rules. <laughs> <laughs> I fully believe you, but um, I, you know, people can yell at me online. Maybe they might be giants did an earlier one. I have no idea. What I a quack attack. Um, <laughs> what, that, their tickets, well, I can say this safely, it won't sell out because this won't air yeah, right now, but their tickets for their show in December in New York just went on sale. And I'm like, Ooh, I'm going to do that okay. pre-sale. Hell yeah. I mean, this comes out Monday. You may get some competition. I'm going to buy them today. Okay. (laughs) And then other people. I don't want no one else to go. (laughs) (laughs) I just want to make sure I get tickets. Just Josh and the Giants. Yeah. J and the G's. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah. They're one of the six bands that I see every time they play down. Now, if we could focus for five seconds in our entire lives, why aren't there sumos in uh, hockey nets? And uh, do we just want to read the answers? Let's read some answers. John Nagel, who's an emergency physician, says, I presume. I presume your, your thought is that if you just found someone big enough, all they would have to do is sit in the net and there would be no room for the puck to go around. That, let me stop you. That is what they were thinking. <laughs> I don't think you need to recap that, <laughs> commenter. Like, I don't know what else they would be thinking. Because uh, you think they're going to eat the puck? <laughs> right. They won't. Uh, you idiot. <laughs> It's not a hamburger. It's not calorie dense enough for sumo. They do not have a tongue like a frog. <laughs> <laughs> they cannot whip it up. The other thing, too, is these nets are quite small. Yeah. I just wanted to get that out there so everyone fully understands what's going on. Right. Uh, it's <laughs> definitely, I mean, you see it when you watch. It's shorter than a person, certainly. Yeah. Wider yeah. than a person, but not by that much that if you got a, like, a very large athlete that they mm-hmm. couldn't take up most of the space. But yeah, you're really leaving, as Alex said, leaving yourself open to a lot of pain. You're going to get blasted. You are going to get blasted. And if it, you could find a rectangular-shaped man, mm-hmm. it would be perfect. I wonder if it's against the rules. That somewhere. sounds like a They Might Be Giants song. <laughs> <laughs> Their big song, Rectangular Man. <laughs> they did one about a triangle, man. Yeah, there you go. Hey, now we're learning. Um... <laughs> Please tell me more of John Nagel's response. Oh, yes. He says, uh, as Peter Guy explained, though, nobody is so big and proportional to the net to completely block the puck from getting into the net. At the very least, their skates keep them two inches off the ice. Uh, the puck is only an inch tall. There's That's a gap plenty large enough for today's NHL sharpshooters. What you want in, a, in goalie is an acrobat. Acrobat is bolded. <laughs> and italics. Is the guy he references another commenter it or just be. a famous hockey theorist that I've never <laughs> heard of? As Peter Guy once explained. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Peter Guy. He won all those Pulitzers writing about <laughs> hockey for the Washington Post. He wrote so many articles about sumo wrestling <laughs> in relation to hockey. What you want is an acrobat. His <laughs> famous article, They Cannot Sit. It's not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't they care how big you are. They Cannot Sit. That's the name of his book about yeah. why sumo wrestling shouldn't play hockey. <laughs> 
<laughs> you're gonna get killed by that puck. <laughs> um, please. Yeah, that's it. I mean, I don't well, know. He talks they, about. They, acrobats. We talk about these the, guys the look big of because acrobat. of all their gear, but today's NHL goalies tend to be slender and flexible. Slender goalies. They have to be able to move and quickly. Quick they went the out, other way with it. Check out best saves in NHL history, and then he's got a YouTube link to get a sense of how. That's a good way to kill NHL fifty goalies. minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I would click on that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I bet visually stunning. Stuff. The rest of the episode is just yeah. us silently watching. <laughs> I put just on like occasionally, like whoa, <laughs> oh sick. I'm using the soundboard for the shot. Killing spree. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this um, guy's on the ground. Look at this little that's right. troublemaker. A hockey a hockey net is six feet wide. You have to find the waist of somebody. Six times pi equals 18.9 feet. I don't think that's true. It, it is true, Jeremy. All right. Row up. <laughs> 3.1. Oh. I still kind of think they could sit down, but I guess not. Yeah, I, I, I you'd cover most of it, but I think the implication is that the professional players are too good at hockey to like I think leave it's wrong. anything. I open. think this is a big conspiracy, and all the hockey players know it would just ruin the game. So everyone just has agreed to be like, just saying you can't, you do, can't it. Say you can do it. Also, I bet if you did it, nothing against a sumo wrestler or their body sure. type, but I bet hockey players would be so pissed and just wail shots yes. right at them. Yes. Yeah. Um, no, it would be no way to live for the goalie. You would need someone who's like in jail. It would be like someone who's serving time, and that's why the, <laughs> they'll take the pucks. Oh, they're just like sent. Like we can, we'll commute your sentence. Sure, that does sound like something the American yeah. prison system would <laughs> yeah. do. A private prison for sure. Yeah, yeah. if you are in thrall to the team, sure, get a eight hundred pound man in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody says it's because of the pads that they would be too expensive. That can't that's be it. Ridiculous. <laughs> that's one of the worst. What a jump in logic. They can't afford the $10 million pads. Yeah, the NHL. The huge fat guy. Good the NHL Lord. needs the money. That's why they're selling all those Stanley Cups to people. Honestly, they're too broke. <laughs> <laughs> can't do it. Okay. Um, sure pads are either. too expensive. Because <laughs> really, like, even the biggest, like, even if you got a, a 450-pound man, let's say, that's like a pretty big guy. That's still only as many pa- as big pads as you need for three hundred fifty pound guys, <laughs> and every hockey team has three guys. Yeah, I don't. Know. There's a lot of holes in it. Um, there is another answer here, real quick. Also, before we leave, this Sorry. Is from Daniel Crockett, who says, "To the best of my knowledge, there's no reason why they cannot." Same. So there you go. <laughs> I feel the same way. What? A, Thank I you, love Daniel. These, I love these some of these responses because <laughs> I. It's so funny to think that. And say that. Yes. Like, clearly, he's not, that's not the question being asked. <laughs> like, that's not the answer. No. Well, the format of the website is, like, just question with no follow-up. And every week, we find someone who just comments, interesting, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, yeah, that's why we ask. But I do imagine, like, there are people that are using this just, like, as stimulating conversation. Like, people, like, reply guys that are like, Oh, I'm just talking to my friend Quora. Yeah. And because otherwise there's no reason to be like to to answer someone's query where it's not like a friend idly ruminating. It's like <laughs> someone seeking an answer and you're like, "Wow, that's a great question." <laughs> yeah, man, that's why I asked. <laughs> <laughs> you're on there's fire no right know. now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we can't make fun of it too much as that is the premise of our show. <laughs> no, I like the premise of the website, but it's like that those kind of Answers that are like more conversational are so funny to me because you're like, yes. oh, that's just somebody that's like trying to get a little conversation and a little stimulation. Mm. Yeah, he's talking. He's an EMT. It's maybe a he's uh, you know, he's in an ambulance. Yeah, he's got nothing to do. He's on his phone, waiting around late at night. Friends or uh, family are all asleep. Totally. He's on Quora. Yeah. Maybe everyone he loves has died. Maybe. Just that's why he's thing. an EMT. <laughs> he's like if Batman actually like sure. wanted to help. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just Batman and I'm here to help. Yeah, yeah man, you should just be an EMT. <laughs> it's such a funny suggestion for fans. Like, there's still like super villains. Like, the yes. cro- killer yeah. croc is loose. Yeah. But, but he's just a- like in the van. Yeah, if but you if he him. collapses a building, like, Batman skills don't help. No. <laughs> he's still doing the voice, though. Yeah. So he's like in the, in the ambulance. He's like, Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, clear. <laughs> um, let's move on. And this is a perfect transition, actually, wow. to our other. <laughs> Upcoming medical segment, this is Quora MD. Won't you come down the halls of medical knowledge tonight? 
<laughs> this is a crazy question, Alex. Now, Josh, you're a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I we yes, I am a lot like a doctor. Uh, we were wondering which category to put this in, but I think I think this is a medical question. Perfect. I, I'm and, your guy. And this is something you talk about in your act a lot. <laughs> yeah. So, um, is it autistic to be obsessed with black penises? Wow. And that is not something I talk about in my <laughs> yeah. two mics because I have double the insight. <laughs> I I have no answer to that. <laughs> I don't know. If, if, I were on court, field, yeah. if I were on core right now, I would reply, hey, I don't know. <laughs> Good question. And then I might be like, weird question. <laughs> I don't I think it's on the diagnostic for autism. Sure. Yeah. I don't think Not if, you on the take, test. if you take the test, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you score high enough on this test, then that's a corpus question. Yeah, they just they just show you something. They're like, Are you obsessed with this? <laughs> this guy <laughs> You love this. <laughs> this guy has asked fifteen thousand questions on Quora. Power user. That's pr- I mean, impressive. It is I, impressive. We have a lot we can learn from this highly knowledgeable young man. Well, or, he, I mean, maybe he reads the answers. Maybe he just doesn't know anything. One of his questions from a few a few days ago is, can Mads Mikkelsen run for president of the United States? So there, these are far-reaching questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is anything that comes to mind. Yeah, no, he's, he's got questions, and, and Quora does not have answers. It almost is like he's using Quora as a scratch pad for things to Google later. <laughs> <laughs> When you have more time to change tabs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the irony of that is that Google keeps using Quora answers to like That's fill true. in. So he's going to find his own shit on there. He's going to be it's a, right it's Damn a, it. It's going to be a Quora Boris. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it will be a Quora Boris. Um, a fun thing about this, too, is I have noticed with actual doctors, if you ask them a question outside of their field, they just go, I can't answer that. And sure. that does how I, that's how I feel about this sure. autistic for black penises question. As a doctor. I just haven't put in, put in the schooling. Um, and then there's only one answer here that is someone sarcastically being like, yes, it is. It's in the DSM. Who has an associate's degree in nursing, he says. So that is actually pretty relevant. Sure, yeah. And that's the one answer. Okay. So we'll never know. Well, to, to we know in. it's not on the ta- Like, I've had a lot of conversations with Anders Lee, who is a autism expert, according to himself. Uh, and uh, he's never once brought up black penises or being obsessed with them. So <laughs> I, I think that would have come up at least once. It's been years of discussion. You could, you could hyper-focus on different things, though. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I guess the loophole would be if hyperfixation is a symptom of some form of the autism spectrum, if you were just like all, like if you knew a, as much about black penises specifically <laughs> as if they were trains, then you could say yes. I feel so bad for my, my neighbors who are like working right now. Who are they like had a, a free podcast. <laughs> <laughs> they could get a free podcast anytime. <laughs> it's no money down. No, no one's paying for this. The AC is off. <laughs> Systems check, I'm a little wet. <laughs> Just a little wet so far. Me too. I'm sweating. <laughs> I could open the window back up. Maybe they're done landscaping. This question's got me wet. Do not open the window again. This, <laughs> we're going to have the same problem. And, and then you don't say this question's going to be wet again. <laughs> as long as we're giving each other guidelines. I'll shake on it. These are my rules. Shake on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jeremy, it's your house, your rules. So you, you can tell on. Alex whether or not to say he's wet. Uh-huh, honey. Thanks for writing in. All right, let's let's move on to uh, another question because there's no more answers on that. But I think the answer is yes. We all agree. Yes, but also the jury is out. <laughs> okay, here's another question. Why didn't my wang fall off when I turned 40? Now, I have not turned 40 yet. I'm pretty close. Uh-huh. You How's nervous? your wang feel? As attached <laughs> to the rest of my body as ever. <laughs> System's green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is green. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm writing that down. <laughs> um, I'm pretty close to turning 40, and it does feel... I, I don't think any parts of my body feel close to falling off. That's good. My knee was a little... Like, I did a lot of walking yesterday, mm. so I was like, oh, maybe I'm a little sore because I'm out of... You know, haven't, haven't been moving around a lot, but... I, I don't think I'm in danger. My knee's falling off. My my pain is falling off. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm pretty... I'm going to stay contiguous. I'm not... None of my body parts are going to go Hawaii or Alaska. Okay, good to know. I think this is written by someone who is just complaining as in why didn't my penis fall off oh uh, why you think he wants it to i wish it would drop to the floor brian 40 years Cronin. of this shit <laughs> <laughs> i'm always tripping over it um I, it's very funny to, i shouldn't dox everyone on the show but i do like how much information i have about these people who ask these <laughs> questions 
That's it, that seems like a flaw in this website. It really oh, does. does it? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually my favorite part of the whole thing. So I agree to disagree. There. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I understand what's enjoyable about it. Uh, and as a consumer, I'm like fascinated. It's like a very intimate level of Facebook. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, oh yeah, you want to know me? Here's where I live. Yeah, it's here's, nice. Here's my phone number. When don't you wish like next time someone like was in your replies on Twitter like not getting the joke you're making? Yeah. If you could, if it wasn't just like Ray from Evangelion as their picture, yeah. If you could like see where they live yeah. and their full name and what they do for a living, yeah, you for could sure. come over. <laughs> <laughs> and just be like, hey, I came to your house to explain this joke to you because <laughs> your parents never taught you how <laughs> to know what a joke is. <laughs> Um, okay. There's one answer here from William Ware who says, I'm guessing it's too small to be affected by gravity. Come on now. Does he upvote, deserve that? Upvote for don't you. upvote that. We I'm don't need that anyway. negativity in our hospital. Uh, and then Stephen Guppy says, what a strange question to ask. Oh. He's right. <laughs> Bilal Ahmed says it gets more active. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. It's under the questions that the answers that need improvement, but it's there. Oh, I do see it. And then he did a winky face with the tongue out. So That's you know right. he's a freak with it. He's an editor. Flawless victory. Those well, are, all gotcha. Those are the answers we have. Sorry, Brian. I, it's weird that there can be answers that need improvement. I would diagnose this as a question that needs improvement. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know. The, the Quora AI will hide a bunch of answers sometimes and say that they need improvement, which I think is really rude. It if, is rude. If Quora thinks the question is bad, what they do is they send you answers to different questions. Yes. Which is very confusing for everyone involved. That's really confusing. <laughs> yeah, it's a really bad website. <laughs> <laughs> and it's one of the last we have. I know. We're, it's, everything's an app now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's it's kind of like the panda bear, and then it's like it can't uh, survive outside of our podcast supporting him. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's mostly podcasters. Out here. People, that's why people add us every week to be like, why why are you allowing pedophiles on your website, Quarators? And yeah, like I don't know. It's not us. Does that really happen <laughs> all the time? We people get think so that many. you're like in charge of Quora. They yes. think we're the CEO of Quora. That's so funny. <laughs> and it's some other guy named Adam. Different guy, not us. Nope. And again, we need him to not go to jail financially so that we still have a podcast. I, mm, this is tough for me because I don't know what he did. <laughs> and I'm not a big believer in the, in our carceral system to begin uh -huh. with, but I can't say, I hope he goes unpunished if he's committed <laughs> heinous crimes. I don't know what he did either. What did he do? He's got to he, get up. It was like finance stuff. I think yeah, it wasn't, like, um, Oh, it's then not probably like he's an AI yeah, I think, guy. He was like doing Bitcoin crimes. I think that should be the most jail. I that know that. Yeah. And that's the hardest part for me because he can just stay at my house. I'll keep him around. I think it's fine if he goes to jail as long as you're like, gonna you're gonna give him like the Julian Assange embassy treatment just in a private home. My own little Ecuador. <laughs> I'll return you to your wife twelve years later. Um, he he can go to jail as long as he gives us the website. Okay, oh yeah, fine. give me the keys, Mac. Yeah. Come on now, you know what you did. And then we can run. And then they'd be right to question yeah. us about the pedophiles. And we'd, like, we'd be like, they're funny. <laughs> <laughs> so what? You would, have to do they would, you would have to do something about pedophiles. Yeah, we would. Immediately, it would be a rule for Oh, us. they're so bad. I'd have to go to all the pedophiles and be like, it's Jeremy's house now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come here. Even though you know two facts about it. <laughs> Loud yard work, proximity to Mike Perbiglia. Yeah, that's right. Mike, I if you're listening, we're on to you. I do feel like complaining about the pedophiles at Quora is like being like, why are there so many wet people at this pool? <laughs> <laughs> what what are the this is maybe a question that I shouldn't be asking, but I don't know, ask what it. are the pedophiles doing on Quora? Well, they have a lot of questions. Are they like <laughs> is it like are they like, does this make me a pedophile? Is this immoral? No. Or are they no, like, no, where no, do you no. find kids? Well, no, not even no, that. No, no. It's more like uh, erotica prompts. Oh, I don't yeah. like that. It's actually so. I that's think that's really bad. I think about this a lot because obviously it's bad to be a pedophile, but <laughs> for sure. 
and I have, am resolute on this. You will not change my life. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. That's not what I, that's not what I thought it was going to be. Sounds like Jeremy's kind of down with it, but I'm against the whole thing. And I want to say that uh, it's, as a form of perversion, it seems like they, uh, you know, you have like a sickness if yeah, you have sure. it. And so maybe like fictional erotica is like the safest release valve for you. Just devil's advocating here. Um, I refuse to continue <laughs> having this conversation. Yeah, no, I'm sorry I that I started wrong. it. Yeah, I'm the CEO of Core. <laughs> Adam, I they stay. I disagree with you, Alex. <laughs> I, they're my best friends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, we're done with the the Wang question. I do love. First of all, just love hearing the word Wang. How long has it been? Classic. <laughs> That's Wang. I feel like it's yeah. It's been a minute since anyone's broken out schlong in a meaningful <laughs> sure, way. Sure. All those like the things that the penis euphemisms that I grew up with, I feel like they've gone by the wayside. That, I'm so mad about that. That's my new. That's my old guy thing. I'm gonna do a stand up yeah. special. I'm like it's all dick and cock now. It's just what Lewis happened to Black Wang jokes. and Schlong? Yeah. People used to say dingus. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to dingling? Huh? An American classic. <laughs> uh, okay, so this all is right. a this is a. Well, you it's know a safer what? area. To this is actually thing. kind of a segue into what Alex was talking about, which is like pervert doing prompts on Quora, because this question is, have you ever pooped yourself on purpose? Now, personally, I have not. I just feel like there's a decent, I don't know, 30% chance that this is a pervert being like, oh, that's oh. why the question was asked. You're right about okay, that. Yeah, that yeah, makes yeah. sense. That's why the question was asked, but I think there are some actual <laughs> utilitarian uses one could have. Let, let's say you need to get out of jury duty. Right. Or um, you're running a marathon. Yeah. There's so many social situations that you could just leave if you pooped yourself. Here's the, okay, not to be a contrarian because I do think you're right. I do also think you could leave almost all those social situations if you just said you pooped yourself. Mm. <laughs> Very few people are going to be like, let me check. What if they check? <laughs> yeah. That's what I was about to say. What if they check? <laughs> just look like, look like you're checking a baby's diaper. <laughs> Read my lips. I pooped myself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when I ran track and cross country as a kid, I had teammates who shit their pants in races, which yeah. I thought it was because they left it all on the track. Is, yeah, ex well, it's and like, then some. <laughs> if you're doing like the 800 on in a track race, yeah. you don't need to poop yourself. Right, that's that, not that, that many like, laps. What, how a couple of minutes? Yeah, that's like if you poop yourself it's like, like medically. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty quick, uh, pretty slow 800, actually. Right Does or it, no? I don't remember. Who cares? Are you gonna like? Isn't that no, what happens right. like before you die? <laughs> I was gonna say quick to to say that'd be or whatever. Who cares? Just it is not a long time a to time? hold in poop, no. and it's you know it's coming. You could have pooped before in most cases. <laughs> if you're so fast, run to the school and back. That's, That's the right. problem. Okay, yeah. Okay. The Flash. <laughs> <laughs> and who would be better on a track team? Huh? Nobody. No, nobody. He's the Flash. Yeah, that's right. Um. <laughs> But yeah, outside of like an emergency sitcom style scenario where you need to leave, I don't think you should. Otherwise, you're going to, well, it's going to be gross and you're the probably going to spread isn't, disease. Should you? The question have is, you. have you? Which I didn't know. So it makes sense that this might, would be a pervert because I, again, as someone who has like limited experience with Quora, uh, as opposed to your unlimited experience, mm -hmm. I didn't know how many of them were just like, um, just like asking for anecdotes yeah 60 <laughs> percent. okay there's a good chunk of people who just keep being like what would happen if my stepsister kissed me you know and yeah like come on yeah that's you could google that yeah. i know i don't know what would happen. there's a lot of movies about it um but you do get a lot of anecdote experience just from people who have time on their phones. So the poop question, I would like to see if we have somebody yes. like, as an active duty police sergeant i have <laughs> run into several situations that i was forced to release <laughs> <laughs> um it's i'm going through these and a, a lot of these answers are disgusting so i don't know are i'll read the beginning of some okay this paul pointer says so many times probably the <laughs> first time was the best and then he goes on <laughs> to say he's just been chasing that poop dragon uh, you never reach that recurrence. high again <laughs> it's like crack it's like the the the, the uh Neurons in your brain can't fire off once um, you pooped that good. <laughs> you, you never forget your first time pooping your pants on purpose. Uh, he, he explains that he, he realized he had to poop in his pants. I'm not going to read that exactly what he says, but he says, so I thought, did it really matter? Did I care? Answer to both, definitely no. Woo! 
<laughs> I don't know what kind of life that you're living. I can see, did it, did I care? No. Did it matter? Usually. <laughs> There's so few situations that I'd be in where like pooping my pants has no impact on the rest of my day. <laughs> uh, well, long story short, the guy says at the end, he's like, it felt so good that he was like, I'm going to do this again. That's awesome. <laughs> you pull this That's out? great. You'll never be depressed if you feel this way after a poop like that. I feel like <laughs> that is a symptom of depression. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's a rush. You just be like, what's the highlight of my day? <laughs> poop in my pants. <laughs> I think if it's between that and like black tar heroin or something, it's the <laughs> safe sure. option. Sure. Um, one guy says I was about, uh, no, never mind. I, I thought I said I was about six years old since I was about six years ago. Mm-hmm. So never mind. Every one of these I'm, is I'm, just I would stories. like to hear more. Do you want me to read it? Yeah. Do you want me to read it? It was about six years ago when I was walking home from the store. I was already in the neighborhood, about five minutes away from my house, when I felt the need to poop. I have pooped my pants in the past on accident. On accident. I was always curious what it would feel like to just poop my pants on purpose. So I looked around to see if there's any other people around that would see me do it. (laughs) But there was just one person walking behind me. I figured that he wouldn't see because it didn't feel like there was that much. So I just let go. And (laughs) Wait a minute. Why look around there? What are we looking around for? If you're like, so I looked around to see if anyone would notice. There was someone. I was like, fine. He was directly behind me. Where the poop goes. Uh, it was way more than expected. Probably the biggest shit I've ever taken was pushed no, out of my box. That's wrong. He just isn't used to seeing poop out of context. He's wearing uh, boxers, too. Oh, that's wild. Uh, this is not a real story. We, we, we haven't reached the end yet. <laughs> it was the biggest shit I've ever taken. It was pushed into my boxers. And oh, wait, no. As we get farther down, it does get a little more um, uh, it erotic. Was, <laughs> I got an instant re- erection. Okay. All, all right. right. Well, Moving it's a on. lot longer. But and then it keeps going in a way that we don't need to read. It sounds so like the perfect it, crime. It is. This, so this is for people that are into this sexually. I, it must be. And I will say, I, I you know, can't speak to pedophilia. I do think <laughs> writing about pooping your pants is safer than pooping your pants. It's a safe release. But don't now. you worry, it'll encourage them to try it. It's the culture of it, Josh. <laughs> it's the culture of it. Um, yeah, I mean, no disrespect to these people. Look, like, I shouldn't be reading these, right? Like, in, in theory, like, right. this is a guy who, it's harmless. Right. Being like, you're the I, one on poopforums.com <laughs> I'm finding their thing and being That's like, you're saying. weird. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, the yeah. person who asked it, they get off on it. The people answering, they get off on it. Why am I? It's, who a, am clo- I it's a perfect closed loop. Exactly. Closed Unlike poop. those butts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> those are opening up. We're all uh, thinking but, the same thing. So, yeah, there you go. I love the push and warmth. Would you believe that one of these people is named Pup Girl Pup Girl Woof? I'd believe it. I, it I wouldn't believe girl. one of them isn't named that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's never speak of this again. I'm glad I deleted the second poop question. Oh Could you God. imagine if that was <laughs> I got a good segue here? So you're saying you're saying you deleted number two. <laughs> Yeah, well, he checked around first to see if anyone was looking, <laughs> and there was. <laughs> so he was like, let's go. We'll still um, do it. Okay, let's let's go to our animal questions. Okay, here we go. Tell me if this sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it an animal sports segment? It's about animals playing sports. This is about Air Bud. <laughs> this is Corrigan Wild. Uh, okay, this question is, Bigfoot arrives at your door and confesses he's sad of constantly hiding. You have 24 hours to make him have the best day of his life before he is gunned down by the government. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> this is a great question. It is great. How, are, are a lot of these answers sexual? <laughs> <laughs> yes, all of these are. Uh, the first time was the best for me. <laughs> I looked around to make sure no one was Bigfoot. <laughs> this is the classic Bigfoot <laughs> fetish community. I I really love the dynamic of somebody. Uh, there's a ring at your door. You answer it. It's Bigfoot. He goes, I have something to confess. <laughs> I've been listening to Quarators and I figured out where you live. <laughs> Bigfoot, this is this question was written by Mike Perviglia. Yes. <laughs> They're going to kill me. Uh, and what I should have said was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Just close the door. <laughs> ba boom. <laughs> Twenty four hours with Bigfoot. Talk about heaven. <laughs> <laughs> um. Gosh, I wonder. Okay, so you want to give Bigfoot 
experiences that Bigfoot couldn't have just in the wild while hiding. So I think you'd start off by like shaving them a reasonable amount so they could pass as human and do a bunch yeah. of like human stuff. Yeah, just shave everywhere except like uh, the beard area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, could... just I, you could keep like body hair if they're going to mm. be dressed. Oh, yeah. sure. Yeah, if you put, I don't, my only thing is I don't want to make Bigfoot uncomfortable by overdressing him. Sure. With, and with someone that big, just the cost of that much clothing right. would be, you couldn't afford it. It would be like <laughs> yeah. hockey pads for a sumo yeah, wrestler. Exactly. It's pretty much exactly the same as hockey pads for a sumo wrestler. Uh, but just in terms of, you only have 24 hours, so you better just do like hands, feet, uh, part of the head, and go. Or that's going to be the whole time is just like shaving. body shaving. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. a quick, quick clean it up. Two would, hours, hands and feet and face. Would this not be the best 80s movie ever? Yes. It would Might make Harry and the play. Hendersons look like a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Just like taking see, Bigfoot uh, around Chicago I'd for like a day. like to see Encino Man feel that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, oh, gosh. This is a great question, though. I what think it's do? great. We're two hours down. We shaved Bigfoot. Now where are we taking him? Um... I don't know. I feel like Bigfoot would love to watch like a big sporting event. Yeah. And have like a nice hot dog and stuff. Mm. Yeah. He's at like a football game, but he keeps being like, I could do that better. Yeah. 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 I don't want to just take him to like the Mall of America. No. Sure. That's pretty sad. Although there is a theme park in there. Just take him to like a very sad museum. (laughs) You're just like, this is what we do. I want to take you to the Holocaust Museum, (laughs) Bigfoot, as a warning. I know you've never heard of 9-11, so you couldn't have forgotten it, so I'm going to teach you about it for the first time. He's probably heard of it. No way. I bet Bigfoot's never heard about 9-11. I think he just felt it deep in his soul. That That might be a sad day for America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, all the black dust went into the woods. He said, what is this? Um, Let me answer your questions, Bigfoot. There is a gift shop. (laughs) Um, okay, so we take him to meaningful museums. We take him to a big sporting event. Uh, outside stuff is going to be stuff he's already done. Sure. You I take him to a right. park, he's like, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know about the sunset. I'm yeah, fucking you just, Bigfoot. You just spend a few hours just playing like Super Smash Bros. Melee. That would Bigfoot. be sick. <laughs> the whole time may be video games, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> That's what I would want to do if I were Bigfoot. I would take Bigfoot to like, we go for barbecue. That's mm. nice. Yeah. Does he? Does he? Does he? <laughs> oh, Bigfoot's a vegan. You think Bigfoot is like plant based? Well, otherwise he's like a murderous gorilla, which is terrifying <laughs> to think about. <laughs> yeah, I always considered he would. I, I don't think it's a principal thing, though. I bet if you gave Bigfoot pulled pork, he'd be like, I have been missing out. <laughs> <laughs> or she. Oh, or right. she would be. I, I think this is a male Bigfoot in this question. Oh, yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, this is one of the fellows. Because this is before the, the government guns him down. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, blindfolded and putting against knows. a brick wall. He knows that if he goes to um, wherever this person's house is, that the government will find out within 24 hours. Yeah. yeah. So he's he's like, I'm too sad to live out here. I'm going to take, I'm going to have the best day of my life. Yeah. Yeah. This, um, it's like make a wish for Bigfoot. Oh, you know yeah. what Bigfoot's got to do is ride some vehicles. Oh, maybe a roller coaster. Take I was thinking park. skydiving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is that, does he want to do that, though? <laughs> does he want to do that? Um, who can say? I feel like skydiving is something that you're, like, socially introduced to as, like, the only way to get someone to want to do it. Like, I don't think people organically are like, I'd like to fall out of a plane. <laughs> yeah, true, but I bet Bigfoot looks at birds and is like, that looks sick. <laughs> <laughs> now, what if they just went down, Bigfoot? <laughs> There's no changing their tra- trajectory. <laughs> uh, I'm going to read this. It's not a bad idea. I'm not totally against it. We no, no, no. That's. I think you're right, though, that like skydiving isn't like a human impulse sure. yeah you'll you be fun when, when i shoot you with the gun later <laughs> you're gonna love that um there's one answer here from mark carter who says i'd shave his body trim yep. his beard we got there real quick <laughs> i'd give him a red blazer okay k black trousers and bow tie and i get him a job at my uncle's jeep slash dodge no that stinks don't make bigfoot have a job <laughs> in montana you go into the Dodge dealership thinking it'll be a normal day. Uh, the, That's the fucking big- entrepreneur poisoned brain of God. Americans to be like, finally a new employee. Yeah. <laughs> I get Bigfoot a job. I get Bigfoot a wallet. Would you rather have $500,000 
lunch with Jay Z or Bigfoot as your uncle's employee. He'll <laughs> <laughs> do. He could sell anything. Oh, uh, you know what? There's an answer here under needs improvement that I actually agree does need improvement because the answer from Danny is shoot him and get the reward. Who's the, what reward is there for? Is there like a famous Bigfoot, Bigfoot reward? reward? I don't know. It's a big reward for our big guy. But it's pissing me off. <laughs> yeah, that stinks. That's so mean. You need yeah, I kill him right there at the house. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I did. Don't even tell anyone. Just know. <laughs> Just live with it. You thought you were safe here. Uh, there's a picture of yeah, oh, the, it's Chewbacca with a woman. <laughs> Doug says, explain to him that he is a Wookiee. Watch no. Star Wars with him and then take him out bar hopping and get him laid. Huh. You know what? I think he would like the Star Wars and bar hopping, so it's really not that bad of an idea. I also think, like, you can't... So, you can't shave him and trick a woman into thinking he's a person. That's right. wrong. But I definitely have many friends okay. who would fuck Bigfoot. Sure. Oh, for the celebrity alone. Yeah. With or the hair the story. On. Yeah. No, and, like, maybe they're attracted to him, or maybe they're just like, why the hell not? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Are these men or women? I think it could go either way. Yeah, binary people. Both ways. There's I, a I'll, lot I'll of always. people. Yeah. As who a matter of fact, I, I would bet there's a Quora community dedicated to this specific. That's there's why definitely I'm so people. surprised that this isn't didn't get as sexual. Wasn't there a politician who had, like, a Bigfoot fetish? Am I misremembering I think this? you're right. Do yeah. you remember which one? Ted Cruz. No, I don't know. I can't remember who it was, but I remember there was like a small town. Maybe not even small. Or they had written a Bigfoot yeah. romance novel or something. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it was. I forget what the details were, whether like their browser history was right. revealed or they'd like written something under a pseudonym. I can't remember who it was. I have to assume it was Joe Biden. That's <laughs> the only thing I can assume that it was Joe Biden. And I don't know if that's good or bad for him, but however it makes you feel, you know, make your voice heard November. He was one fuzzy Mac. <laughs> His oh. words. <laughs> oh, Johnny Squatch? Yeah. <laughs> I hear big guy. I call, him, I call him big one. Big guy. <laughs> it's just a guy he knew as a kid. <laughs> we, Joe, uh, I've been telling you that's not Bigfoot. <laughs> it's just a hairy Russian know, had man. Pretty big, had pretty big feet. <laughs> wow, look at him. Got plotters. <laughs> I like this impression. <laughs> we have a, a very inaccurate and wide ranging Joe Biden visits the show every week. <laughs> it does change all the time. Um, we how many questions do we do? One or two more, Alex? Wh wh which one of these you? Oh, we you got like? time, baby. We got time. Oh, I do the squirrels one, please. Okay, please. This question is: How do you catch and eat squirrels without catching the bubonic plague? <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think easy answer is you just do it. Do most squirrels have the bubonic plague? I don't know. Is I, the bubonic plague a hold in for a random disease? Right, no, like rabies. They could have rabies, yeah. Oh, sure. Boy, would I feel stupid, though, if I got the bubonic plague from eating a squirrel, because that seems like something you do as a yeah. lark. Yeah. It feels, getting the bubonic plague at all feels like, whoa, throwback Thursday. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Skill issue. Yeah, it would be Should a funny not way have to done that. <laughs> 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 it sounds so painful. You get boobos. I'm sure this joke was made one million times four years ago, but it would be funny if, it, if the plague came back and we all just had to take like tests for the Black Death or whatever. <laughs> and then a lot of people wouldn't. Yeah, exactly. Well, there's one telltale sign. <laughs> <laughs> there's a children's rhyme about it. That's right. Absolutely. Um, well, I'm glad that that didn't happen and Me that too. we're safe. Um, is there a, are there helpful answers? Uh, there are six answers. The, the, the answer um, is cooking them. On Quora. I think that's right. Yeah. Were you, yeah, were, were these people going to just like eat raw squirrel like sushi? Yeah, you got to cook it. <laughs> or tartar? They're, they're squirrel rodents. tartar. That's, that's disgusting. Yeah, it's Absolutely horrible. Absolutely do not do that. You're playing with that fire. That was JD Vance's book, right? <laughs> squirrel uh, yeah, tartar. Yeah. Squirrel, <laughs> squirrel tartar, the story of my fucking idiot family. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this guy, Richard, uh, says most squirrels do not have the bubonic plague, use ordinary hygiene measures such as wearing gloves. It is the fleas on squirrels that transmit the plague, not the squirrels themselves. So I guess there must be some concern about this. This seems like a real thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And again, cook them. You got to cook it. You got to cook it. Stop eating raw squirrels. This other guy says um, don't catch Western, Western gray squirrels. So those are the ones to look out for. Okay. So good, good advice. That's that's most of them, as far as I've seen. <laughs> right. Yeah, sometimes you see a black one. But that's about it. There's a brown one. 
There was uh, that. Wasn't there a white one in Prospect Park recently? Oh, now yeah, I bet yeah. there's some fine meat on that squirrel. <laughs> you can and catch that one. Plague free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can go raw on the on the albino squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> and then once again, an answer that needs improvement uh, from Dennis. I don't know. I guess one will have to stop eating squirrel until this risk has passed, if it <laughs> yeah. passes. I actually think that's a perfect answer. Uh, and this guy's uh, qualification is political neutral, veteran, Bible student of 50 years. He's playing it safe. <laughs> Bible student of 50 years. His picture is a flaming sword. <laughs> He's the man. <laughs> that is so crazy. I love it. Uh, he knows about guns and firearms. Sure. And Abrahamic religions. That's pretty cool. This is I love how I'm straightforward this, this account is. I'm following. Big him. fan. He's got did you see? By the way, followers. we were messaged by Mark Vore immediately after. Were we really? Yeah, we did an did. episode last week where we read a question by someone named Mark Vore, who it, has one follower, and it's us. He has one follower, and all of his questions are about Vore. And would you be surprised that his, his He's message followed to us? us I'm not on your account, Alex. I, I don't have access. His to message this stuff. to us was, and I quote: "Hey, I saw you like Vore." <laughs> it's so that guy. He got wise and used a pseudonym, not like some of these other folks. Oh, yeah, that's the only way to do Either it. Either he's using a pseudonym or he's got a perfect name. Yeah, <laughs> right. He was named like someone from like a fable. <laughs> he's there to teach lessons. Um, wait, so where I see we also have been requested on an answer. Can I see you in briefs, which I don't I don't think we need to. Where is this? Where is the um, message? I got an email about it. Oh, my God. Now is not the time to discuss Mark Four. It kind of is. That though. was not the time to discuss Mark Moore. He wants to talk to us about eating eels live again. All right, fair enough. I will. I'll we'll get to it. Right now, we're talking about eating squirrels. Fair enough. Which hey. are safe if you cook them. <laughs> All right, let's read another question. Yes. And do one more, Alex. Which one do you like on these? Okay, let's switch up. Oh, I really like the first forbidden knowledge okay. one. Actually, I do too. Okay, so this is our uh, sp- supernatural segment: forbidden knowledge. <laughs> This is a really good question. Uh, if I ate human meat, am I considered a cannibal forever or what? <laughs> that is a good question. I like how mad he is about it. Or, or what is like a great way to end that. <laughs> so I ate human meat. We all make mistakes. Okay. Oh, I'm some kind of fucking cannibal now. <laughs> it does sound like he was tricked to do it. Is that a possibility? Uh, you, if you do it on purpose uh, once, you're a cannibal. I'm sorry. I guess it's like, but but is it something you can used to be? I get that question. Like mm. if you're stuck in the Alps and someone dies mm. and you eat them for, for nutrition and sustenance mm. and survival, and then you get home and you're like, that, we did it. It was fucked up. I'd obviously never do it again in civilization. Right. Mm. Are, are people like, oh, that's the cannibal. Oh, I was in yellow jackets back then. Right, right, right. right, right. That was different. I guess if you just don't keep saying the first time was the best, (laughs) then you're fine. This question should be, can people change? (laughs) That baby that knows I used to be a cannibal. (laughs) Um, I would say that uh, you probably are one forever just because you're, I mean, people are going to, they're going to point at you and they're going to say cannibal. That's going to happen. And you have to you have to admit you did that shit. And I will say from watching Yellow Jackets, no spoilers, but they do seem to feel like cannibals for the rest sure. of their lives. Yeah, yeah. Like they don't seem over it. Yeah, no, yeah, it changes a man. They're haunted by it. Or a girl's soccer team. Or a girl's soccer team. Hit the tips for women button. The only one we haven't done. Watch me nail it in my first go. <laughs> tips for women. I don't even need to label them. Don't eat your coworkers <laughs> or whatever they do on that show. I've never seen it. Soccer team. That's right. Girls soccer team. That's right. Um, okay. Well, this guy, Danny, says if you eat a potato, that doesn't make you a vegetarian. If a vegetarian eats meat, he's not a vegetarian anymore. If someone ate meat once, he be- can still become a vegetarian until he stops. Uh, he will, however, forever be have been a meat eater once. If you were a cannibal once, you will have at least eaten been one for the rest of your life. You change your diet to human free after one tryout, you won't be a cannibal anymore because you don't eat human based food anymore. This feels like a riddle. What a but sage I do, mind. I do think there's something to be saying, right? Like if you were not brought up vegetarian and convert to vegetarianism, sure. you are a vegetarian. That's right. And then if you start eating meat, you are no longer a vegetarian. That's right. Yeah. 
I would say in terms of eating habits, you are not a cannibal, but in terms of social stigma, you are forever. I think that's right. (laughs) That's right. Like you're not, your friends aren't like, oh, Alex is coming. We got to make sure that it's like a cannibal place we're going to. Do I have to get human bone? I only cook (laughs) human meat, but if I go to a restaurant, I'm kind of a franable. I only eat, (laughs) I only eat human meat that I kill myself. Yeah. If it's locally sourced, I'll eat. You know, right. I just want to know that it, was, it died cruelty free. I use all the parts. Have you guys ever had human meat? No, I no. haven't. Never once. Me neither. I've never played soccer. <laughs> <laughs> that is a gateway drug. Dude. <laughs> Not interested. I know where that goes. <laughs> play, I've never been in a plane crash. <laughs> oh man. I am so scared of my plane crashing now. I took a flight to Minneapolis a few weeks ago, and even though I specifically got on the kind that hasn't been having all the parts fall off of them, yeah. I'm so scared of it. it. And those are the kind with the worst name, too. Uh, the- Airbus? <laughs> <laughs> like, those are the good ones? <laughs> Please be Air Train. Yeah. I feel safe on Air Train. I, honestly, Air Plane, that one was where I felt the safest, <laughs> and those are the bad ones. No reason to mess with the classic. Yeah. Uh, they say what is it it's more dangerous to drive to the airport than that's true it's airport. definitely still more dangerous to drive yeah. but the idea that like there's even this h- slightly higher chance of uh my plane having anything wrong totally, with it terrifies yeah. me <laughs> i do i do demand to drive to the airport in a tesla cyber truck so i know that the <laughs> most p- dangerous part of my journey is over when i get there right yeah <laughs> yeah as a prov- provided you can leave. Yeah, right, right. right. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I missed my flight because the, the truck caught fire and I couldn't get out of it. <laughs> it crumpled. I feel like that's one of the tests they did on the cyber truck is like, can you catch up with a plane as it's departing? <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a really good answer here about the cannibal thing where he says, Jeffrey Dahmer uh, liked to eat McDonald's, but nobody mentions that. Nobody mentions that. <laughs> Not, I, I've never heard it before. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why we would have mentioned it. <laughs> is it true it's such I, it's, they've served over a billion people most times i bring up a person i don't talk about how whether they've been to mcdonald's <laughs> hey, is know. that even true i wonder did jeffrey dahmer actually like mcdonald's because that is weird who doesn't <laughs> it was the 70s well, i just wonder if, i mean if anyone would know if he was just like mcdonald's is actually the closest to human meat oh, as sure. someone who loves human meat yeah. mcdonald's actually does taste pretty similar that would be pretty fucked up I, <laughs> i've heard people say that it was better in the 70s mcdonald's? human meat yeah <laughs> no no the mcdonald's the human meat is probably largely the same yeah. and that's by avoiding the factory process <laughs> that's well, right well it sounds like we're in quorum i, I will say i did time. find the mark Vore answer question and i just like that he says hey bro you seem interested too the question about swallowed eel. And again, we are completely <laughs> in the wrong on this. Because really we like, hey, bro. <laughs> went to his eel question and followed him and commented on it. And he's like, good, a friend. Yeah. <laughs> I feel We're building bad. community. This is why I'm at Quora. <laughs> <laughs> We're catfishing this man. Oh, he would love that. He, he would, would swallow that thing alive. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a heaping helping. Um, do we want to do one last question or do we want to... Uh, is there one there. you're dying to do? Is that what's no, happening? No, there's not. Okay. <laughs> there's really not, honestly. Looking really at all of these. We're scraping the barrel in there. And we're doing another one of these tomorrow. Okay, great. Let's, I really, uh, I'll tell you what. I really like that Bigfoot one. I feel like it's been a while since I've heard a good like internet hypothetical, yes. and that was a fun one. <laughs> uh, do you have any questions you'd like to ask Quora? Mm. Off the top of your head, do we have any? I'm trying to think of what we talked about this week. This episode. A lot of sports talk. A lot of sports, sports talk. talk. Three athletes talking shop. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Um, I wonder if it's... Do you have any questions about black penises, Josh? I, I don't. <laughs> that seems like the question you loved the most. <laughs> I feel like I know everything I need to. <laughs> in that arena. Uh, uh, the Boston sports franchises. Oh, I do. I mean, I feel like I know a lot about those as well. But I get. I, but I what thinking, don't you know? I, yeah, I know that <laughs> those two categories. Does it help to know that Martin Urbano will have to answer it when we read it tomorrow? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> what? Um, what? I I am intrigued. Okay, you don't have to have what, a question. Also. What? Um, what mythical creature? I because I'm intrigued by the sure. Bigfoot one. What mythical creature? would be the the most uh, beneficial and least dangerous to encounter in the wild. Okay. Okay. 
I like that. that. That'll prompt some important discussion. I hope so. New Jersey Devil. I think really? he'd just be cool to hang with. Yeah, he would be a good hang. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can uh, back that one up. But we'll, we'll, we'll discuss this tomorrow. I don't know that much about the Jersey Devil. I do just picture Taz. <laughs> <laughs> He's turned against God. <laughs> well, that's going to do it for us this week. Josh, thank you so much for coming on Core Raiders Thanks America's for having me. favorite Cora based show. Where can our listeners find you at home and abroad? Oh my gosh, I'm at Josh Gondelman um, on all the social platforms. I have a Substack newsletter, joshgondelman.substack.com, called That's Marvelous. It's free every Monday. And uh, and uh, that's mostly it. I have a new stand up special coming out. Eventually, but we just oh. shot it last week. Yeah, so there's not quite a firm timeline yet. Yeah, you might want to. You might have to wait on that. But sign up for the Substack. And I have an old one. My old one came out about a, uh, uh, two years ago this week, and it's free on Freebie. I think now so you can watch <laughs> commercials. Yeah, which is Amazon Prime's thing. Amazon Prime Freebie. I have heard that one. It's a real treat. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <gasps> Uh, for our show, which we do have to remember to plug at the end of the oh, episode, yes. we have a live show, August 24th, and you should come to it. Why not? Why don't you? Well, you're too busy? You think you're too good? August 24th at Caveat Bar and Grill. And you got to stop saying bar and grill because people are going to think we're doing a show at like a fucking Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> you can get popcorn there. Uh, they, have, they have some other stuff, too. They, they have true. wine. I don't, I don't think you can get like a burger. They have no, some but they beer. have like like a um not an empanada but like a oh. similar like something in that family or they used to like All a right. beef I patty. It back. It's a bar and grill for nerds. Definitely not a bar and lounge grill. Bar and lounge grill. Puka. Link for that is in the description for the episode. Also, if you enjoy our show and want to exp- explore other websites. Go to our bonus feed, patreon.com slash quarators. We go on other websites there. <laughs> Facebook.com, twitter.com, TikTok. You want to see what witches are doing on TikTok? You got to subscribe to the bonus feed, and that's every Thursday, baby. So we'll see you there. And until next time, question everything. Bye-bye.